In this overview of RecoverPoint for VMs, we will be demonstrating the process of protecting and recovering individual virtual machines as well as reviewing some basic options for protection. In this configuration, we have two sites, one data center in California, the other in New York. In our production data center, we are hosting a CRM suite consisting of multiple VMs. RecoverPoint for VMs gives us the ability to protect individual VMs as well as create consistency groups that allow us to protect the application in a known state rather than just the individual VM. Here we can see that RecoverPoint for VMs is currently managing two consistency groups, one in the California data center and one in New York. Both are in an active and healthy state. By clicking the Protection tab, we can see the individual members of this protection group. Note that we are missing a critical VM, the database server. By right-clicking the VM in the native vCenter context, we can utilize the RecoverPoint for VMs vCenter plugin to enable protection for the database server. We will add the database server to an existing consistency group to ensure all CRM components are bookmarked and replicated consistently. We choose the existing consistency group, select how the target VM should be created, and select where to place the target VM. Finally, we select the data store for the target VM, click Next, and click Finish. By utilizing the Recover Point for VMs vCenter plugin, we can now see the database server is replicated as part of the CRM consistency group. By viewing the Recover Point dashboard, we can view information about the health of all consistency groups as well as get detailed information about the replication topology, replication flow, and current state of the replicated image access. By clicking on Protection and then Manage Protection, we are given a list of all existing consistency groups. By clicking the CRM consistency group, we get not only the replication topology, but also the existing state of replication between California and New York. In this case, data from the host is being written directly to storage as well as being replicated to New York, where it is journaled and then written to the underlying storage device. Failing over a protected VM is also an easy process. In our New York data center, we will fail an existing replicated workload, Dev15, to the California data center, capturing even the most recent changes to the VM. To demonstrate this, we will create a file called recovery, enter some text, and attempt to recover the VM in California. For the purposes of this demonstration, we will assume the New York Data Center is no longer accessible and execute the recovery in the California data center by utilizing the Recover Point for VMs plugin. Clicking Protection and then Consistency Groups, we are shown a complete list of consistency groups managed by this Recover Point cluster. We select the Development Consistency Group, the Remote Copy, and then click Failover to execute the failover in the California data center. In this scenario, we'll be recovering to the latest replicated image, although recovering to an earlier point in time is possible as well. Because we are executing a failover, there is no need to isolate this network. We select Yes to verify we do wish to enable image access, and click Finish. We can select Yes to monitor the progress of image access from the RP4VMs dashboard. We can now open a console on the recovered VM and see that it is powered on and fully booted up. By logging in and viewing the previously modified file, 
we can see that all changes to the VM were captured prior to the failover. Thank you for watching. For more information about RecoverPoint for VMs, please visit emc.com or the Everything VMware at EMC community.